there is a huge difference of containers among the bootstrap and the tailwind CSS. In bootstrap, the containers have a major role. It aligns our items properly in the middle, then it adds some margin and padding at the left and right kind of things. But uh, in Tailwind CSS, the containers are pretty basic. It all it gives is a maximum weight. So let's see it practically. This is our body and let's give it a class of container. We can remove the margin from the section so that we can see it. Let's give this section a background color. So this is the section and the entire body has the class of container. We can inspect this. Okay, the thing that container does that it gives this and maximum weight. So there are some breakpoints in Tailwind CSS. Let me show this to you. This is our breakpoints here. So the first one is the small, then medium, large, XL and 2XL. When the display weight will be a small then this one, then the weight of the container will be 100 percent. When the display size will be larger than 640 pixels, it will have a maximum weight of 640 up to this point. When the display size will cross this value, it will have a maximum weight of 768 pixel. We can see it by this demonstration. This is the toggle device toolbar. So in here we can see the height of the window. This is currently 320 pixels and up to 640 pixels the container will have this height of 100 percent as you can see here at the right side. Now let's make it bigger. Now it is 100 percent and if we cross this height of the display of 640 pixels. Now it has this maximum height of 640 and even if we uh, keep enlarging the window height up to 768 pixels it will have the same height of 640. So let us go up to 700, 768 pixels. 700 and So this is taking 640 pixels now if we cross 768 pixels now it is again have the maximum weight of 768. So I think you get the point how the containers in Tailwind CSS actually work. But if you want to use the container we need to use the class of MX Auto. What it does is it uh, align the items in the center. Now this has this gap at the left and right. It is the arc of maximum weight and MX auto is given this element and margin X auto. So now they are in the center. So if we want to use container in practical purposes, we need to give it some padding and margin at the left and right because in a smaller displays while the weight of the container or maximum weight of the container will be 100 percent then this elements will be will have no gap. So we can use this some padding in the x direction suppose 24 it will be too much. So we need to select some basic padding to work with our projects and we need to use the margin x auto to make the elements inside and container center. So this is all about containers and see you in the next video.